All right, guys, it's been a couple days working with new tools. So, I'm going to discuss them a little bit and maybe answer a couple questions or whatever. Um, somebody earlier had asked about, you know, my thoughts on the JRL trimmer after, you know, six months or what have you. Uh, honestly, I still use it every day. You know, I question if it still works as strongly as it did when I first got it, like at Sharp Lines. You know, it, it could just be me kind of seeing things or whatever, um, or maybe, maybe it's not, but it is obviously still solid enough and still performing quite well, so I would not be using it. So, give me a second, I'm trying to kind of clean up for the end of the day, and as I go through these, tell you about them. All right, the shaver, yes, this has, this is taking a back seat, I'm sorry. Um, and I find the ridge is good and is up high enough to where like I really don't even need the single foil shaver I haven't found a need to have it where this couldn't get in not yet I'm not saying it won't happen the mythic now I'm torn on this one okay all right so that's with the new uh, and it's probably showing it there backwards for you I do apologize you know the words rather um this thing is sharp but golly this thing is freaking heavy if it were I, you know here's what i'm liking i love the way it cuts and it could be maybe it's the weight that helps maybe it's the fusion blade i don't know but i feel like it could be just because it's brand new you know but it's cutting like a champ right now even uh, you know for really tight fades what have you i've just but it sucks to use for a long time especially if you know my chair sits kind of tall so if i have a tall person like i'm you know, almost working up here i i'm trying to find kind of a better center balance for it maybe it feels like it has a, a good bit of weight back here. Maybe if it had more different center of gravity. I don't know. Um, and I don't know how long I will use it. But it does work great. Now, do I recommend it? I don't know. I mean, that, that, that depends completely on you. Um, if the master is a heavy clipper, then no, I, I would say don't get it. If it wasn't that big a deal for you, if you like the extra weight, then by all means, jump on it. Um, with Gamma, I'm sure they'll come out with something, you know, new to change this up. This comes with a stretch bracket. I haven't used a stretch bracket yet, but it does come with one. But this is the Ergo. Kind of compare the two side by side. A lot of similarities. Let's do a sound check. Now, even if this they have the same motor. I don't know if they do. I have no idea what the specs are. I mean, I'm sure you could easily look them up. But even if they do have the same motor inside, and they, maybe they do, I feel like the sound's gonna be different because of the casing, okay? I wish I had a way to weigh them out. All right. Sound the same to me, so I would say probably is the same motor. <clears throat> on to the FX3 trimmer. I don't like there's no protection. I've mentioned that in a previous video. I still don't like that. Okay. I've used this all day yesterday and all day today. Let's find the shaver too. And we're only down one bar. It's a really, really good battery life on it. Has this even changed? That's still four bars. All right, which I think is 80 to 100 percent battery. Now I don't know if it'll, you know, once it gets to like the second bar, if it'll go more quickly or what have you. I did find a few hair types today that this did not work that well on, and I'm sitting there as I'm doing. I'm trying to figure out: is it because something got messed up? Is it because it doesn't cut the hair type well? Or is it maybe because I'm backing off on pressure a little bit because I don't want to cut the person? 
or uh, maybe a combination. I don't know. <clears throat> um, it just had a few hair, uh, few hair types today where it just didn't really want to go in and cut the hair. Had to add a little bit of extra pressure to it. Um, kind of undecided on what to think about it. Uh, like, I might attach a video clip. But there's one guy. I'm lining up on this neckline. And it's like not really cutting the hair. But I go to the other side and it cuts it. So, I don't know. Like, the consensus on this, this thing is great. Do you need it? No. Because it will not be your go-to trimmer. Um, meaning you won't do every person with it and stuff. It just, it's too sharp, too harsh, what have you. Uh... I'm just checking the blade, see if there's anything maybe they got off kilter or something. I mean, it hasn't been dropped or touched or anything other than, just, you know, use and set up on the counter. So they're good and tight. So, yeah, we'll keep monitoring that, what have you. Now, I said you could do without the Mythic. I said the FX3 don't get if you're a beginner. Don't get if you think it's going to be your only trimmer. I don't think so. That is my opinion. But I will tell you, get one of these. This is, you know, same thing as Oster Octane. They take the same battery. Um, this is the one made for pets, if you will. It's the Oster Volt. But it's the uh, exact same thing. Probably the same price. I just like the color of this one better. Yeah, I, I like lime green stuff, what have you. So I like this one better, so I got it. Yes, I highly recommend this. Over the Anda Supra, I just threw out an Anda Supra. It went dead for a few years. But this is lighter. It's probably a little bit faster, easier to handle. Absolutely love this machine. Wish I'd have gotten it years ago. Great machine. Last thing, the guards. The double magnetic guards. I will not say that silly three-letter word they call them. I think it's absolutely hideous. I agree with um, Eddie on that one. Silly name. But I'm also going to talk to you about JRL guards. All right. So Reggie mentioned he loves the JRL, JRL guards. Me personally, I do not. I found them really difficult to get on. And maybe this will wear down and be a little bit easier. I don't know. But with, you know, flipping back and forth, I just found it too hard to get on there. And it didn't really impress me that much whenever I started cutting with them. In a previous video, I spoke about the silver magnetic guards. These came with the Ergo X. It's like special edition or whatever. And you can see on the back of that where the little you know, pain is chipping off and stuff. I just didn't feel that great about these. Um, let me see. I'm going to try to find the same. These are both a number three. I'm curious about something. We'll see if one maybe look. This, honestly, on the left does feel a little bit weaker. I don't know if it's the same plastic. Like, I don't know if this is this spray painted. I don't know. But I didn't really care for these that much for, you know, a couple different reasons. One, because it was leaving, you know, silver flakes in somebody's hair. Let's see if it's, yeah you, yeah, you probably can't see me on my finger. But it's on there. You know, it's like, that's kind of crummy looking, unprofessional. Um, but man, I do like these. These are the, these came with the Mythic. And probably just the, the same double magnetic guards you can buy, you know, that are not a different color. I really like them. They've kind of honestly been my go-to guard. Um, I would like a something painted on here to let me know which guard I'm using. I think that's why I've used wall for so long. We tend to you know, move kind of quickly in here. Um, that being said, it's easier to go by sight instead of having to stop and try to figure out what you're picking up or what you're using. So, that'd be my only real complaint with that. Any questions or anything, please let me know. I guess I'll go ahead and talk about this while we're here. It's not going to be much to talk about. I'm just going to show you what scissor I've been using and that I recommend. I've tried a lot of different ones. 
uh, different price ranges. Um, I try to stay, you know, kind of affordable. This is the Yoi Chopper, Y-O-I. This is a five and a half inch. I like a smaller shear, I found. Uh, I mean, you know, you can't cut past, you know, you're not supposed to cut past your second knuckle anyway, so, you know, that's kind of the way I figure it out. You know what I mean? Um, so for cutting, I, I like the the shorter one. It was easier to handle, that sort of thing. I don't flip back when I cut. I feel this is just extra wrist movement that's going to, you know, cause me to have a surgery later or, you know, risk for injury. I, find a comb here. I just kind of palm it, you know, whatever. Um, personal preference, you do what you want to do. I just found this takes a little bit more time that was unnecessary. So, highly recommend the, the Yoi Chopper. They come in a few different sizes. Two or three, I don't know. You have to look it up. But yeah, Y-O-I Chopper. And this is a thinning shear I just got a little while ago. It is a Yoi CX line. I never really thought a thinning shear mattered as far as... The quality of it you know I mean because I have some really cheap ones that do a fine job but this thing I don't know if it has like a ball bearing in there or what but it is so smooth it's all it's easy to get carried away like really a joy really a pleasure to use and the hair just melts right off when you're using it uh, you have to be you know very careful with it that's all I have I said any questions comments whatever please Leave them below, let me know, reach out, what have you. I'll try to help you out any way I can. Um, I'm looking for a new lather machine. As many of you may know, the new Lather Kings are absolute trash. I've got two of them broken down in the back. Uh, we've, you know, repaired them multiple times, this, that, and the other, and... Um, I'm just done dealing with them. So I brought up the old school Lather King. Works brilliantly. Looking for either another one of those or a wall latherizer, but wall sold out and on back order, which I said, you know, I called wall yesterday, which I don't know what being on back order means, or I don't know if they're made somewhere else. Um, to me, if you have the factory there, I don't know how that stuff works, man. So just kind of over my head but anyway um, one other thing I wanted to talk about <clears throat> yeah Babylus I, I mentioned previously in another video I keep saying another video maybe go back and watch the other video and all this would make sense but I was kind of complaining about the um, the you know the raise the shaver and the trimmer having different charging cords and I found that to be absolutely silly so gamma, all the gammas will use the same charging cord. The Ergo, Ergo X, and also the Mythic do not take USB charging cords. And I don't know how many people really use that. I think it's a great idea, but I don't know. I mean, honestly, I, I probably have used it just because it's there um, a time or two. But hey, maybe it's a thing. I mean, it's a cool feature. Don't get me wrong. And I, in ways, I kind of miss having it on there, even though I'm like, not really using it. But here's what I, I don't know if it's a complaint or I don't know what, what. So basically every, I'm not gonna reach over and grab the alpha. Um, it's, it's plugged in and everything. But every gamma, every stylecraft, whatever you have, takes a different charging base. This will only fit the Mythic. Not the Stylecraft. No. Not Stylecraft. Ergo. What is a Stylecraft? You know what I mean. Okay. That's for your Stylecraft there. Let's go ahead and get the Alpha. And this fits the Stylecraft. I mean the Alpha. It's been a long day, man. Alright. So, that means if i got these three different clippers, I've got to have three different chargers if I want to use the base, charging base. 
Honestly, I, I don't use the charging bases. I don't have the space for it. I kind of, I'm trying to do a remodel and employ them because I think it looks good. But a couple of things about it, like, I don't, God, what do you hair on my face? I can't get it off. <clears throat> I don't know what the heck I was going to say. No, um, I, I don't know how leaving it on the charging base would be. So as far as a storage option, like here's what I would like to have is somewhere, maybe like, you know, where it's plugs in off the cord, little toggle switch right here, or either employ a switch right here so I can shut off power to this. That way it is a storage option when it's plugged in. <clears throat> what I have done in the past is run it to like a surge protector that has an on and off switch. The problem is they die and need to be recharged at different intervals. So, you know, what I, the way I charge my instruments is I charge them until they're charged and then I take them off the charger. Very seldom do I leave them overnight. Uh, I just, you know, I, I try to protect that battery life as long as I can. Is it doing anything? I don't know. You know, one person says no, one person says yes. I don't know. You know, to me, I guess it's just habit, hobby, or not habit, uh, personal preference, what have you. Um, that's about it for that, man. I appreciate everybody. Definitely been a little while since I've done anything. So, <clears throat> I hadn't got anything new until a few days ago. So, <clears throat> glad to get that out. Um, I had no intentions of getting any corded clippers, but man, these videos of these new things Gamma has out look absolutely great. So, I don't know, it's tempting. It's tempting. Um, probably not. I mean, I, I pay for everything you see here out of my pocket. Um, <clears throat> so, probably won't get that. Uh, coming up, have a. I'm going to Atlanta, Georgia for the Wall Disruptor Tour. So that'll be kind of exciting. See what happens with all that. And I'll let you know how that goes after I get back. And we'll see you later. Thank you. How's the, the business from the settlement machine going? With the what? With the oh, I guess it's yeah, it's been pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Not the way I want it to. I'm going to talk briefly while I have a moment here about the tools that I did a first impression on yesterday. Used everything today, all day, very busy day. I'm going to start with the Gamma Mythic. That thing's heavy. Um, it has some weight to it. <clears throat> Almost a little too much. So it comes with a different color plate that I don't have with me and I can't show you anyway because we're going down the road. But it comes with a different plate um, that's clear and it's all plastic. When I put it on, I thought it would go by itself, but no, you have to take the black metal plate off the other and put it on there. Um, it's all you get is that little window, which is cool. It really does look good. And I'll, I'll try to shoot in the morning and, and show you what I'm talking about. It really does look good with that clear window um, showing like the microchip area and all that. That looks great. But anyway, um, the thing is, is quite heavy. It cuts really well. Uh, could just be because it's brand new, what have you. But I mean, it cuts amazingly well. Um, I just, 
you know, for all day use, it's it's a bit much, honestly. Uh, I, and maybe I've gotten spoiled with the Alpha and the uh, Ergo and such. Um, but that thing's a beast. <clears throat> Yesterday I showed you the Oster Vault. That thing is amazing. Absolutely beautiful machine. Highly recommend getting one. I'm also um, going to be talking to you about some scissors in the near future, so keep an eye out for that. But the Ostravolt was absolutely phenomenal. Really love that clipper. Used it a good bit today as well. On to the Babyliss. Um, trying to think how I want to work this. The FX3, we're talking about the FX3 trimmer and the FX3 shaver. I did not get the clipper. I've cut about three people with that trimmer today. You, it's like a laser. Um, I cut somebody like on the lip lining up a mustache. Somebody else just had, you know, like a hair pull irritation in the back of the you know, neck there. Had a little cut on there. Um, it is sharp. It is powerful. It's nice. I don't know. It will not be your go-to trimmer. Um, absolutely not. But for when you need that super crisp line, that it, and I'm going to tell you, man, it's like a laser. When you, you better be ready. When you put that thing and you commit to it, that hair or whatever's in its path is gone. I have not adjusted it. It is just straight out of the box. Uh, me and uh, my co-worker today used it and same comments you know that i'm saying he absolutely loved it the shaver by far is probably the best shaver i've used that shaver is great absolutely love it i used the bronze series 9 for a couple of years uh recently moved over to the i didn't like the the gamma zero alpha zero whatever it was all right wasn't my thing but then um the wireless prodigy i liked it pretty good i thought it did a great job and I do want to try one of their new foils and see how those do. But um, straight out of the box, the Babyliss FX3 shaver, closest, fastest shaver I've used. Absolutely phenomenal. I feel like I've said absolutely like a lot of times. But anyway, sorry, I'm focusing obviously on traffic and everything else. But. <clears throat> Had those thoughts in my head. I wasn't able to do any filming at the shop today before I had to get out of there. So I said I want to take a minute, shoot a little quick video while I had those thoughts up here and uh, let you know. Trying to, it seemed like there was something else I was going to talk to you about as well. But uh, is that FX3 package. I cannot speak for the clipper, but the freaking shaver and trimmer is no joke. Like, I'm debating on getting a second set to have for a backup right now um, before they, you know, people catch wind of them and they go, you know, low on stock or whatever, or just in case. Now, I still want to have some sort of protection on that trimmer. That, I don't know, maybe I'll find like a zipper case or something to keep it in, um, but it just scares me how precise that blade is, like any little jolt. You know, like I showed you in another video, man, I, I'm just afraid something might happen to it. Anyway, that's all the time I've got for today. Uh, trying to think what's coming down the line. Some scissors, you know, I do have some of those I want to talk about. Or something else, I don't know. Anyway, that's it. Um, if I had complained about the FX3 trimmer, it's a very odd sized blade. So it's kind of like not really universal. I don't know how much replacement blades are going to cost. I don't know. Uh, I don't think it's the regular Babyliss trimmer blade. I think somebody else pointed that out in another video. Oh, that is something I want to talk about. All right. <clears throat> so a while back, my boy uh, Reggie put out a video about loving those JRL guards. So I dug mine out of the closet and I tried them out. Reggie, I'm gonna have to disagree with you. They're not really that, I didn't like them, you know? And maybe for the hair he cuts, it might be, you know, it might work better, 
Um, you know, I, I cut a lot of predominantly straight hair. You know, so maybe that's the difference. I don't know, but I just, I wasn't in love with them, and I felt like they're really hard to get on and off. I didn't like that. Uh, it's like they were just a smidge too small. You had to really force them on there, and they probably would break in over time, <clears throat> which would be, you know, a help. In the past, uh, with the first set of Ergos, I got the silver uh, double magnetic guards from Gamma didn't care for them they're all right i mean they're sitting in the closet at the shop they're not great but the black magnetic guards which essentially should be the exact same thing that came with the mythic i've tried them on a couple different clippers tried them on um you know obviously the mythic on the ergo and a couple different things they i don't know what it is they really seem better uh they seem better made they seem like they have a better cut a better feel i don't know you know could it be true could it just be weird idiosyncrasies who knows i don't know but i, I do remember i wanted to share that with you so very kind of interesting thought about it um that's it for real this time we'll see it i won't try to hit you up in the morning when i get in hopefully i'll get in early enough and can show you a couple things i'm talking about here and we'll put it all together